All right, so we are at the High Vision, and they have this $120 laptop, and it connects uh, with Wi-Fi to the internet. It has a browser icon that says Firefox. There you can see it's actually a real laptop. It says that it has a three-hour battery life. So uh, let's minimize this window, and we can see it has a real menu. It has a real Linux. Looks like Linux. Uh, some kind of Linux is here, and then you have the work applications, the play applications, and you have some settings. And it's really speedy. You just click, and it's there. And I can go back to my website. Back to my Wi-Fi browsing fun. And I can go back and check all the exhibitors at this show. I'm clicking, but uh, as it is usually in all uh, trade shows, the Wi-Fi is always going to be kind of slow because there are like a billion people trying to connect at the same time. So now I'm just browsing around and it's a real internet experience. And uh, I'm gonna make a break in this video so we can ask a specialist how it works. So we're still at High Vision, HVSCO.com, and um, hello. And you have this laptop. What do you yeah. call this laptop? Uh, we call Mi Mini Note. Mini Note. Yeah. This is the Mini Note. Yeah, it's our current model. The pink Mini Note. Yeah, pink Mini Note. And it's uh, current like available today. Yeah, right now, this one is in production, and the selling price is around $120. $120? Yeah, it's dollars. For a laptop? Yeah. So it's cheap? Yeah, it's cheap. Any cheaper in the world is possible? Uh, for the... Uh, it's our current one, and we are also doing the cost down to use the updated chipset. That's the... this one. Yeah. And the, for this one, it's still more happy. Uh, we, the sample will be ready at the end of uh, September. Yeah? And the production in October. In October. And the price is only $98. $98? Yeah. $98 with Wi Fi viewing yeah. and the 1 gigabyte NAND flash. And a good uh, keyboard. Uh, I mean, the keyboard is just fine. I mean, the, I mean, the mouse pad is, is there. The mousepad, yeah. It's not exactly the same as this one, but maybe it's better. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, did you say keyboard and uh, can you show the, the current model? Because it has behind it all, all the connectors. So, you have Wi Fi inside? Wi Fi inside, then USB, three USBs, and the RJ45. Yeah. And the SD card, card reader. Yeah, audio in out. Can you do voice over IP with it on Linux? Can you do talking uh, chat, uh, voice chat? Yeah. yeah. Do you have something already for that? Can you show? Yes. Like show a little bit the applications that you have. So there you go and play. You have a music player. There you go on internet. XD, XD chatting. You can chat yeah. with your friends. But that is just text chat, right? Yeah. Text. But you just don't have an application chat. for uh, using the microphone. Yeah. You have something for that? Microphone handset. You have something for an application, but you, you could have, but maybe it's not there yet. I don't know. You cannot uh, like record the voice right now. Uh, maybe not, but, but it's possible because you have. It says here Linux and Windows C, right? Yeah. So, can you say anything about that kind of Linux that you're using right now? Is that a special Linux that you have? Uh, it's a similar, similar Linux. Si similar Linux. Yeah. So is that uh, some kind of Linux? Uh, you don't want to. You cannot say which which kind. It can be any no. kind or. This Linux uh, is developed in China. In China, okay. Yeah. For the MIPS processor, is good for that. Yeah, MIPS processor. So when you click here, you see the task manager. It's showing that the wireless LAN is is on, and there's this website on. And uh, if you've got too many things running at the same time, you can just kill them and close them so it, it runs smoother, smoother. But you can always go back and have a few applications running at the same time. There's a browser. And that's a real browser with the real links. 
and the real clicking. And that's okay. So it's working. So uh, they can just contact you. People in wholesale uh, can contact you, and uh, it's available right now, right? Yeah. This one and that one October. Yeah, and that's your, one, that's in October. But your company, you're also working on these designs. What is that? It's also the, the, the one PC, but it's more high end. And we use the different chips. It's the X86. Like, uh, we use VR 7-M. Yeah. And uh, for this one, the selling price will be higher. Higher price? Yeah. Higher price. So this is a working yeah. unit, but it's like a netbook, right? It's like cheap. How, how, how high is it? How much? It's around uh, uh, three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars starts from there. For for this for this design, three hundred. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that will be when 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 can people order this design? How soon can you make it? Uh, One month, two months, three months, or for more? For different weeks. Right now, it's in the production. Yeah. And for which two design, we at this moment still mock up. We are working yeah. on the molding, and we will be ready in October. That's three hundred. Yes, yeah, This one ninety-eight. Yeah, that's ninety-eight. Actually, it's uh, uh, very good for the children and the students. Yeah. How many How many people have this already? The secret uh, in China is is many people using it or? We already uh, sell around ten thousand pieces. Worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. Yeah. So it's still starting. It's yeah. it's still starting, starting, but you hope it can go very high, right? Yeah. And you have you have capacity to make many, many, many. You can. Yes, we yeah? we, we are ready for the big orders. Big orders. So uh, Walmart in USA, they should come and they say five. We want five million. They can. You can make. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks. So I'm sitting here with the coolest thing that I could find so far at the IFA. Uh, this is um, an actual $100 laptop. It's actually a $100 laptop. And it's running a really low power, really fast enough for browsing MIPS processor right now. And uh, there's a model that's very similar to this, kind of the same size, slightly different keyboard, uh, slightly different mouse pad. And that's actually below $100. This one is $100 if you can buy big, big uh, quantities of them. And uh, it does everything. It has a Wi-Fi. It has a, uh, a screen that's big enough for most kind of browsing. You can even multitask. You can have several things running at the same time. I can have uh, my word processor running at the same time. I can type Google inside a document. I can save it as a Word document or whatever I want. Save as. It has all these uh, formats. Abbey Word, Doc, HTML, RTF, text, of course. I mean, it's a full Word processor. I can close down the, the Word processor to save, uh, or I can actually can cancel. Because there's this cool thing where you can, you can go over there, and you can click on that. And it's showing all the, it's like doing a control alt delete and it's showing you what's running. The, the, the wireless is running, the browser is running, and the, the word processor is running. So I select the word processor and I kill it. I kill it and it's gone. And there I s just saved a little bit of RAM. I think there's 128 megabytes of RAM. But you don't need more. Uh, they, they haven't certified it for 3G because certifying stuff for 3G costs 200,000, it's really, really complicated to, to get stuff certified through 3G. But you just connect a 3G adapter, like a small USB dongle to the, to the side, and you are an HSDPA with a laptop that can have, uh, right now it has like three, four hours of battery, which is more than normal laptop. For this size, it's, it's pretty cool. But it could, they could easily just make it a little bit bigger, fatter, or something like that, and it would have 20 hours of battery, no problem. If they just, Add it like a centimeter under it, it'll, it'll have 20 hours of battery life. So this is the thing that uh, I hope that the OLPC is going to do, is move over to the ARM, ARM based laptop with a DSP accelerator so you can play all the, d the video formats. And uh, so there it is, OLPC x86, China laptop MIPS, and the next China laptops or the next OLPC should be ARM with a DSP accelerator. And uh, I'm going to test it more to show you uh, how fast the websites are loading. 
and how fast the different applications are loading. And this is the highlight right now. This is the IFA. All right. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm at uh, the hotel with this $100 laptop and uh, I'm on the Wi-Fi and it's quite, quite cool. I mean, I'm chatting right now. The chat is working. I'm uh, having three tabs open in Firefox. I can edit my blog. I can log on my Gmail at the same time as I chat. Pretty fast, pretty snappy. There you have it. It's a nice color. Nice color for the guys. Alright, thanks. Alright, so I'm going to do a boot test of this Linux laptop. This is the Alpha 400 MIPS based Linux laptop from High Vision in Shenzhen, China. So it's the OS version 47, it looks like. It says V47 up there. So we're gonna see how long time it takes to boot. Mm, some kind of icon there is showing up. Let's see if we can get if we can there it is. So now I'm gonna move the mouse over to the Wi-Fi icon. You see the battery indicator here. It should have through something hours like that, but I couldn't I didn't actually chronometer the battery life. Maybe I should have. So I'm going to select T-Mobile access here with a very high signal power strength. There's a lot of different Wi-Fi around here, so let's hope it doesn't interfere or something. So it's connecting to the network, you can see. Connect network. Connected, acquiring the IP address. There, we've got an IP. So let's open the browser. You see the little time icon on the screen? So it's just adding the browser to the RAM or something down here. This is space you can have for the applications. Here's the task manager, so you can close applications. So now we have the Firefox browser. Current try and go and go. But it's redirecting me to the Mesa Berlin because this Wi Fi access is not open and it's not free. But at least it shows stuff on the browser, so it kind of means that the browser is working. There, it's opening a second tab. You can see I have the first tab, the second tab. The second tab for the if a website to load this is the official IFA website the Mesa website and the browsing experience is pretty usable it doesn't have so much support for Ajax and Flash right now it might be because of the MIPS processor because nobody has had Flash support and, and Ajax and the MIPS processor so far but maybe the next versions of these $100 laptops will have the ERM and DSP chip and uh, might might load uh, might load websites slightly faster than this if Texas Instruments for example were going to provide their Cortex processor that'd be a good good thing to speed this up if it is if their Cortex isn't too expensive to implement this has got an email box accept chatting a reader. It's got some word application. I'm gonna try that to open that. Calendar accept table. AB Word is opening. Version 2.4. So there. I am writing in this document. There make sure you can read it. Let's go up here. 
you can see and then I can save it of course I can save it in all kinds of different formats uh, let's close this because maybe I've shown you this already so let's go in um, this one is actually quite interesting there's actually a software installer and I used that yesterday while I was, uh, while I was connected and I, you just click on update online and then it pulls from an online uh, database of all the software but now, right now I cannot connect to the online because I don't want to pay for the Wi-Fi access but uh, it's got a recorder so you can use the, the microphone input here to record your voice and that's basically it that's the features of this software so you might imagine if, if, if the software is totally open source and somebody were to release a few more applications here and a few more in work like a bunch of more and some cool games how about a, a Nintendo emulator or something that'd be quite funny and uh, you've got the media player so let me show you that for a second so it says it shows here the maximum uh, supported resolution and bitrate and uh, uh, that's per a bit per pixel or something like that, 24 max audio sample cannot be higher than that so it's pretty low but that's because I think it's only using the MIPS processor to, to decode anything so you could actually in principle you could do a, a laptop with the ARM chip and then use the DSP to decode videos and it could in principle decode up to HD resolutions if you use the Cortex, the new Cortex with the with a so what you do is you, you browse around the you can browse around your files here uh, you've got a lot of files you can go back in my media I will add the Ice Edge Ice Age there it's going to open Ice Age and I can go in full screen but that's yeah it's pretty low resolution Ice Age video and limited frame rate or somehow sometimes it's not working. totally I click the exit button to exit and just close it then I'm back to the pretty snappy the fast uh, and then I'm gonna show you the task manager I go in the task manager I'll kill the wireless LAN when I kill it it goes away from the the plan and now I can shut down the laptop and this was a demonstration of the hundred dollar laptop made in China with a cheap processor that is not Intel. All right.